have some cash to invest looking for high quality businesses that handsomely reward their shareholders with safe growing dividends want to know my top five stocks for december 2021 then you have to check out today's video he is a best-selling author 30 year old jason fieber has a plan this guy retired at only 33 years old i don't know if i know too many people that have accomplished something like that he's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income Before I get into today's content, if you want exclusive access to my personal six-figure stock portfolio and alerts on any new investments I make, check out the Patreon link in the description below. I'm probably the most loyal dividend growth investor you'd ever meet, but that's only because dividend growth investing has been so loyal to me. I started buying high quality dividend growth stocks more than a decade ago. These are stocks that represent equity and world-class enterprises that pay reliable rising dividends to their shareholders. By buying these stocks, I was able to achieve financial freedom in just six years at the age of 33. These stocks loyally reward me with enough totally passive dividend income to live off of. And that's because the businesses are loyally performing at a high level. After all, they're selling the products and or services the world demands. All that said, not every single stock is a good buy every single day. Which brings me to our topic. Today, I want to tell you my top five dividend growth stocks for December 2021. Ready? Let's dig in. My first dividend growth stock pick for December 2021 is Enbridge Inc, stock ticker ENB. Enbridge is an energy distribution and transportation company. With a market cap of $79 billion, this is the largest energy infrastructure company in North America. Look, I don't have my head in the sand. I know that renewables are the future of energy, but that future isn't here and now. And in the here and now, Enbridge is providing the energy products and services we need. Their 10-year top line compound annual growth rate is 8.1%, while the bottom line has compounded at an annual rate of 8.3% over that period. With impressive business growth, it shouldn't be surprising to see impressive dividend growth. Yep, Enbridge has increased its dividend for 25 consecutive years, but it gets even better, a lot better. The stock yields a monstrous 6.8%. But wait, there's more. The 10-year dividend growth rate is 11.3%. Where else will you find a double-digit dividend growth rate paired with a yield near 7%? And with a payout ratio of 68.9%, the dividend is almost certainly headed even higher. This stock is up 22% this year, but that was off of a very low level. I think this stock is rather attractive here. It's got something for everyone. You want growth? Check. You want a market smashing yield? Check. What about upside? Check. I recently analyzed and valued the stock, showing how shares could be worth nearly $48 each. Shares are currently trading hands for less than $39 each, so there could be a big move up here. Meanwhile, you're getting a near 7% yield. Tough to go wrong with this one. My second dividend growth stock pick for December 2021 is Lockheed Martin Corporation, stock ticker LMT. Lockheed Martin is the world's largest defense contractor. This $95 billion by market cap defense juggernaut confounds me. The stock has not caught any traction at all, yet the company keeps bagging multi-billion dollar contracts left and right. This company is not short on growth. They've increased revenue at a compound annual growth rate of 3.9% and earnings per share at a compound annual growth rate of 13.4% over the last 10 years. Big bottom line growth tends to lead to, eh, you guessed it, big dividend growth. Yep, Lockheed Martin has increased its dividend for 19 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate is 9.8%, nearly double-digit growth here, and the stock offers an appealing yield of 3.3%. These are great dividend metrics. Not the eye-popping numbers of Enbridge, sure, but this is a blue-chip company with a very, very long runway ahead of it. Can you imagine any future in which sovereign defense is less important? I can't. With a moderate payout ratio of 51.6%, I also can't imagine any future in which Lockheed Martin isn't paying an increase their dividend. 
This stock is flat on the year, and I think it's ripe for accumulation. Like I said earlier, this one confounds me. I really don't get why the market has just totally thrown the stock away, but that's the opportunity for long-term investors who are looking to accumulate. If you're accumulating shares for the long-term, you'd definitely rather pay a lower price rather than a higher one. Well, I analyzed and valued this name not long ago, showing why it could be worth almost $450 a share. Shares are currently less than $350 each. That's potential upside of more than $100 per share. This is one of my best long-term ideas right now. My third dividend growth stock pick for December 2021 is Medtronic PLC, stock ticker MDT. Medtronic is a global developer and manufacturer of medical devices. With its market cap of $149 billion, this is one of the biggest and best medical device companies in the world. Medtronic benefits both from general secular growth in healthcare as well as the non-discretionary nature of their specific area within healthcare. They've grown revenue at a compound annual growth rate of 7.1% over the last decade, while compounding earnings per share at an annual rate of 3% over that period. However, because the healthcare system was focused on the pandemic throughout 2020, elective surgeries could make a big comeback as we move forward. Indeed, CFRA is forecasting 10% compound annual growth for Medtronic's earnings per share over the next three years. That's dividend music to my ears. Yep, double digit bottom line growth should translate to similar dividend growth. Already Medtronic has increased its dividend for 44 consecutive years, easily qualifying them as a dividend aristocrat. It yields a market beating 2.3% right now, and the 10 year dividend growth rate is 10%. If earnings per share of 10% is anticipated, it's not rocket science to figure out where the dividend is going. With a payout ratio of only 44.2%, it's even easier to figure out that the dividend is highly likely to continue growing at a high rate for years to come. This dividend aristocrat is actually down on the year, and that is why it's now a top pick. I haven't covered Medtronic very often in the past. That's mostly because I thought the valuation wasn't super appealing, but this stock is now down nearly 20% from its early September peak, and that has put it on my radar. I just highlighted this name as an undervalued high quality dividend growth stock. After a full analysis and valuation, I estimated intrinsic value at nearly $124 a share. It's currently at about $111 a share, so I see a decent amount of upside on a dividend aristocrat. In this market, that's compelling. My fourth dividend growth stock pick for December 2021 is Omnicom Group Inc, stock ticker OMC. Omnicom is an advertising, marketing, and corporate communications company. This $14 billion by market cap company continues to perform well at the business level despite the stock not following suit. And that disconnect between the business and the stock is why I'm highlighting it. Speaking of the business, revenue over the last decade is flat while earnings per share has a compound annual growth rate of 3.1% over that period. While that only looks so-so, that's only because of the anomalous fiscal year 2020. Looking forward, CFRA is expecting Omnicom to compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 11% over the next three years. That kind of profit growth should allow Omnicom to continue loyally rewarding their shareholders with growing dividends. The company has already increased its dividend for 11 consecutive years. Notably, they didn't cut the dividend during 2020, unlike a lot of other companies. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 13.2% is paired with a market smashing yield of 4.1%, and the dividend is protected by a payout ratio of 45%. This dividend's path of least resistance is one where it heads higher. This stock has recently corrected, and it looks attractively valued to me. This name was hovering around $77 a share back in mid-October after a solid Q3 report that saw them miss revenue expectations by a rounding error, but blow away bottom line expectations, shares corrected, and are now below $68 each. That looks like a mistake by the market. I analyzed and valued Omnicom back in late August, estimating fair value at a bit over $85 a share. We could be looking at more than 25% upside here. My fifth dividend growth stock pick for December 2021 is Philip Morris International Inc, stock ticker PM. Philip Morris International is the world's largest publicly traded tobacco company. Their market cap of $138 billion makes them a very large company, but if the valuation weren't so low, it'd be much bigger. The market has not shown this stock a lot of love, largely because the company has not shown a lot of growth. A secular decline in smoking hasn't helped revenue, which is actually down over the last decade, 
But thanks partially to share buybacks, earnings per share has grown at a compound annual growth rate of 0.7% over that time frame. However, it's the future here that's particularly exciting, thanks mostly to the revolutionary Heat Not Burn ICOS product. CFRA is forecasting an 8% compound annual growth rate for the company's earnings per share over the next three years. So they could be on the cusp of a growth acceleration across the business. And that business growth acceleration should translate to the dividend. Philip Morris International has been increasing its dividend for as long as it's been an independent company. That's 14 consecutive years now. The five-year dividend growth rate of 3.2% isn't gonna drop your jaw, but the juicy yield of 5.6% might. This dividend is protected by a payout ratio of 82.9%, high but not out of line for a tobacco company. And if the growth acceleration plays out, that gives them even more cushion here. The stock is up 9% this year, which is pretty decent for a high yield name but I think there could be a lot more to come. I fully analyzed and valued the stock only weeks ago, concluding that shares could be worth $107 each. This name is currently under $89 a share. We're talking 20% potential upside while you collect a market smashing 5.6% yield. I think you could do much, much worse than that. Take a look at the stock if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did. And let us know in the comments what you think about these top five dividend growth stocks for December 2021. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who have been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.